Hello, hello. Welcome to Cat's Treasure Hunting. My original plan was to go thrifting today, but then I got an email from estatesales.net of an estate sale where everything is a dollar, which is absolutely insane. I actually am here early and it looks like they're already selling stuff. And I see linens that I wanted walking by. So I'm going to grab Ikea bags and we're going to get in there now. So I got to the sale early and I hardly ever do that and people were already shopping. Look, I'm not the only one with Ikea bags. She had Ikea bags too. So I did remember the bags and we're going to head over here to these tents and see what we can find. So the deal is everything is a dollar unless it's marked. There are a few things marked and here this box has some vintage linens really really cute pieces in here and they just yelled at me that it's free so I said okay I'll just take the whole box if it's free <laughs> so they called me free cat the wholesale now look at this purse a really cool like rattan palm tree purse excellent condition so we are definitely going to grab that for a dollar I didn't get these. I'm not sure if I should have. They are Bob's Sweet something. Bob's Sweet. I don't know, but I did not get those. And here there is some Christmas stuff. Let's see. This is a pretty cool painted poinsettia pillow for a dollar. Definitely going to grab that one and then here's a little holly christmas throw it looks like it has some pulling but not too bad so we're gonna go ahead and grab that one as well and this little red cardinal little door hanger i've done well with those they don't sell for a lot about 12 to 15 dollars but they have sold pretty fast for me typically and then look at this little crocheted Santa and Mrs. Claus. They're like little yo-yo ornaments. We're going to grab those as well. So we have not, we have not made it far. Um, at the end of this, or you can, you can guess now if you would like, see how much you think I'm going to spend when almost everything's a dollar. Now check this out. This is a Coleman cool box. And this one actually is worth about 35 to 40. That one was $3, but still a great pickup. I didn't get that jack-o'-lantern. I'm not sure if I should have. Maybe I should have. I'm not sure. So let's go ahead. We're going to see if we see any bags here. I know I saw one when I was walking up. Let's see. Oh, here it is. So look, Skeezin, Skeezin's Greetings, Popeye. I used to love watching Popeye. All right, we dropped our bag off and the cooler, and now we are going to head inside and see what we see. I thought about trying to go in there, but there were already people, so I decided I would take the path of least resistance and you see all these dollar, dollar, dollars. Now, this is a Fenton hobnail. It was an Epernier, but the Epernier broke off. However, I think for a dollar, it is still worth picking that up. So I am going to get that bowl. And let's see what else we see. There is so, so much cool stuff at this sale. And... The lady whose home this was at, her children are actually there. I spoke to them for a while, and I think it is pretty cool. She had a really, really neat collection of things. Now, look at this. Cute little bluebirds feeding their babies. It's a little planter, so we're going to pick that one up as well. I have never been to an estate sale where everything is a dollar. Tell me if you have in the comments because I have not ever come across this. All right. I see linens. Let's see what we see here. 
there are some vintage pot holders and towels here. Some really, really cute ones. Take a break and have some coffee. So, so much. I think I will end up getting some of these. But what I am thinking right now is that I would like to see if they would let me buy all of this. Rather than me going through all of it here, I would rather get it for a good deal and go through it at home. So, look at these. These are a cute matching set. I think I will get those. But I think what I'm going to do is ask them if perhaps I can just get it all. There's some cute little aprons in here. Really, really cool stuff for sure. And then over here are some blankets. This one's a tapestry throw. It says April showers bring May flowers, which is perfect with Easter coming up. So we're definitely going to get that one. And we'll see what else. And like I said, I saw those linens walking by in the beginning. Now, this one, I think we will get as well. Really, really cool pink vintage blanket. I'm not. This one was Dem Demadico was the brand on that one. And let's see. Now, here are some vintage nightgowns. This is a JCPenney Mrs. Robe. Definitely vintage. So I'm going to grab that one. And then let's see if there's some more down here. This one is Celestial Dreams. Not familiar with that brand. This one's Smart Time. Definitely a vintage robe. And this one is as well. So we're going to go ahead and get both of those. And then there's some slips back here. But I didn't see a tag in that one. So that one I think we will put back and I'll put that nightgown back where it was. I don't know if there's any more of like the nightgowns in here. I can't read the brand on this, but this is a really, really thick quilted kind of house coat. And I think that one is definitely worth picking up at only a dollar. So we're going to stuff that in as well. And I was trying to see if there was a brand name on the jackets that I knew, but I do not recognize any of those. And those were other people's shopping baskets there. And I think they were rearranging the blankets. Now, here are some more linens. I'm not sure why. This one's Chanel. They have it at $10. Um, but it wasn't vintage and it wasn't any brand name. So, that was all the furniture and stuff that was over a dollar that was in that room primarily. You can see everybody has their little shopping baskets, but I have my Ikea bag. Let's see if we see any cute little collectibles here. There's some little vases in here, but I see quite a bit of chips and flaws on those. So I think I will pass on those. Let's see. 
And I do like to look in the office stuff. Uh, a lot of times you can find like vintage tools and th things like that that are worth money. This is really, really cute. I think it was like a craft project, like a little jewelry box. And I really like that. I think it'd be a cute little trinket box for like the uh, dresser. And there were some vintage napkins. Some vintage napkins I will pick up if I see some. And there's some jewelry here. Little lucite piece, but nothing overly interesting there. And we'll see if we see anything in here. A little chicken. That one's a newer one. So I think we will put that one back. Let's see what we see down here. look it's a little chicken bread basket cover I have sold several of them and they sell really really fast for like $20 so we're definitely going to get that one I didn't even notice that turkey <laughs> that is up front and this little bird with the eggs almost all of his feathers are missing so I think we'll leave him there but look at this cute little wicker hen basket I think I will get that so we are definitely getting some cute stuff here. Look at these little squirrels. They are like little uh, taper candle holders and there's a little pair of them. So we will definitely get those as well. Now we're in the kitchen and I don't know a ton about like kitchen tools. So that's kind of a little bit out of my realm. And if you see anything here I should have gotten, definitely let me know so that I can keep an eye out for it in the future. That room is really little is what I'm thinking. And I'm thinking I don't want to try and go in there. I, I was debating, but I think I will wait. We'll look on this table again. Look at this cute little, this is a little Japan teacup with the little holder for a dollar. I think that is an absolutely great deal. Look, we're like the Ikea bag gang here. And I actually, I ran into her at three thrift stores later in the day. Um, the lady with the Ikea bag. So we ended up chatting. She actually told me about an estate sale going on tomorrow that's kind of close to my house that I might have to check out. Let's see what else we see. They were so, so nice. I believe that was the owner's son there. And he said he was going to look for me on YouTube. And that, I believe, is her daughter. They, they were so, so nice beautiful beautiful figurine here it looks like a yadro but it is not a yadro they're talking about me being on youtube and i was telling them their name they were incredibly incredibly friendly at this sale i really enjoyed looking at everything that they had in beautiful house i did find a couple of kitchen tools that i know sell well and that is the bottle opener and the vintage can opener i have done well with those all right, we're going in kind of through the doorway because <laughs> Kat got impatient. Now, that is a vintage Aunt Jemima bottle. I know um, there are some limitations as far as whether you can sell them or not. I think I'm going to, I'm reversing and I'm going to switch spots with her. It is just, just so, so tight in here. Let's see. These are really cute. I'm not sure who makes them. They are like the old syrup bottles, but I think I'm going, I think I'm going to get them all. There's four of them here. And then this is a vintage uh, Corningware. I believe it's a Corningware. I'm going to get that. <laughs> I'm being very brave with glass right now. So let's, <laughs> let's see how. How many glass things cat can carry look at this ha 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 and then i'm gonna put them in my ikea bag i left my ikea bag out because it was just too cramped there in the room 
and I'm being very careful, and I did not break anything, and it all made it safely home. I promise, and I'm sorry you're staring at my feet forever. All right, let's go, let's go back and see what else. And now we have the room to ourselves for the moment. Now here, this is a really cool green bottle. I'm not sure what that one is, though. And I don't know if the log cabin syrup, I maybe should have got that one. But I definitely think I will get this really cool blue nun bottle. This one's pretty cool. Labels in great condition. And let's see if we see anything else here. I'm not sure what this is. Look, it's got like a little lobster or crayfish little shaker and then the matching little soup bowl. So I don't know, but we'll get it for a dollar. Why not? Right? That one, I'm not sure about. Look at this. This is a really cool vintage planters glass canister. I'm going to get that one as well. All right, let's see if we can find anything out on the porch. And I think I have to wait to get it. <laughs> there were so many people. I looked over this table about two or three times to make sure I didn't miss anything. Because there was just so much. And when there's that much stuff, you definitely need to give it a uh, second or third glance now I went back to the table I told you they were adding some more stuff to it earlier and I did find a vintage tablecloth that I grabbed there so I'm kind of making rounds for a second and third time now here we're on the front porch look at this cute little velvet purse that one was definitely cute I did have to go get a third Ikea bag, by the way. That, that is my third Ikea bag. And let's see. You really never know what you're going to find here. And I'll tell you, there were a few things in this box that I thought about getting that I didn't. And I saw somebody walking out with them and I'm like, oh, I probably should have got them. Um, there is... This is super cute, but it looks like it was written on and it had a few stains. So that one I left, but there's a really cool cruel picture there in the background. I don't know if you can see it. I am going to get these two botanical bird prints for sure, but I should have got that cruel and I, that painting as well that I just had in my hand. So <laughs> the same person got both of those. And here I see a lot of Tupperware and a dollar for these bigger Tupperware pieces is a really, really great price. The big cake one that I just got should sell for about $20 typically. And then I'm not sure about this divided kind of hors, hors d'oeuvres container, but for a dollar, I'm definitely going to pick both of those up. And just like that, the third Ikea bag is filled. Um, that lady was laughing at me because I'm like, I had a new bag and I fill it up in two seconds with big Tupperware. But that's okay. We are almost done looking at this sale. And we'll see if we see anything else. They have some really neat baskets. I typically don't pick up very many baskets unless they really, really stand out to me. And I'm not really seeing many here really cool serving tray there though and I like I like this one but baskets unnamed are definitely not easy sellers longer burger if you know which one that they are those can be fast sellers but some of them take a little bit longer and I almost missed this. I had to turn back around. Little vintage arched wicker frame. I think that will do very, very well also. And I got the third bag because they said they didn't want to sell all of the boxes to me in bulk on the first day, which I completely understand. And so I'm coming back in to look and see 
if there's anything in those boxes that I absolutely have to have. We have to dance first, though. All right, let's go look in these vintage linens and see if we can find anything that we absolutely have to have. Let's see. Here's another chicken bread basket cover. <laughs> we, got, we have to get those. Those sell very, very well. Let's see what else is in here. They said this box was kind of a miscellaneous box. Here's a really cool, this is a 1988 calendar towel. And it's actually in great condition, so I'm going to grab that as well. And I don't think I see anything else in here. So we'll look in the pillowcase box. Vintage pillowcases do very, very well for me. These I was debating. They were like shams. I'm going to put these cases in before I forget that I set them in that other box. So these shams didn't have a name. So I think we'll pass on those. But I think we'll see. Aha. More vintage pillowcases. Let's see. There are some more. Okay, let's look in these other boxes. This is a really pretty runner, but a lot, a lot of staining on that one. So I think I'll skip that. That one had staining as well. Let's see. I don't know what the watermelons were. Here is a garden flag. I think we will pick that up with the red cardinal on it. Let's see. This one's TT tiny. I don't know. I think that was actually a napkin. I'm trying to keep them in their boxes they were in. Now, this box has the vintage aprons. That one has a little wagon wheel. Let's see if we see anything else in here. Look at the little Santa, but he has holes. So I think, I think we'll skip him. Okay. Let's put these that we like in the bag. And let's see if we see anything else. Little Santa crocheted towel. I think we will grab that one. This one's a Dishman. We'll grab that as well. I really like the knit with the towels. I, I do good with those as well. And I actually, I don't think I saw these on the... Um, the haul at the end so I might have to hunt in my car for these let's see as far as these pot holders I think these are cute with the little tulips they're a little faded but not too bad and look Easter's coming up. Those are little chicken ones. We'll get those as well. So the third Ikea bag is now overstuffed. But I bet we can still find some room. This looks like it's a hand knit or hand crocheted scarf. Really, really pretty there. So I think we will get that one there was like one small hole but that's a beautiful beautiful scarf and we'll see if we see any sweaters now that there's a little more room in here to look at the clothes this cable knit is really really pretty 
and it actually has holes that go like into like your regular pockets. I think that one's a hand knit one as well. So we're going to grab that one too. And we'll see if we see any more beautiful, beautiful sweaters. I think we'll take this one as well. Let's see if we see any more. I'm not familiar with Continental brand of jacket. All right, we're almost done. We're going to make one last pass. I think this pine cone wreath is worth it for a dollar. And I think we'll look up here on the carport and see if we can find anything else. And I am double checking again, when you go to sales with this much stuff, you have to look over it twice because it's very, very easy to miss things because there's just so much. All right, let's go up on the carport and see if we see anything. No rocks or plants are for sale. Let's see. If there's any tools or anything miscellaneous. I don't see much here. That boat up top is like super cool. I'm going to get it and we're going to look at it a little bit closer here. And see what we see. And it looks like it's so rusted. Oh, I love it. But I think I'm going to leave that behind. And... I think we will go and check out. All right, I'm going to pause for a couple of seconds. I want you to guess down in the comments how much I spent. Everything was a dollar. I'll tell you it wouldn't all fit in the trunk. So we got a lot of stuff. I think I got most of it. You should have just saw it. But we're going to go ahead and take a look again at this incredible, incredible haul. All right. So I spent $80. I got a lot of stuff. So the free box we are going to show you after this. This is the Panduit Cool Box. This one I think is worth about 30 or so. That's the only thing I paid more than a dollar. I paid three for that. The cute little chicken basket. Look at this little vintage velour little purse. And then this is a new in package tablecloth. We have got, oh, there's the, it's Ashley Taylor. Um, there are two bird prints, this little purse. This is a vintage Yoohoo bottle I thought was really cute. Skeezin's greetings, Popeye. And then I did get a few vintage robes. This one is JC Penny, Missy Lane, Vanity Fair, another Missy Lane. This one is really cool. It's like a quilted thick one. It is, I don't know that brand. If you know it, let me know. It's something life. Uh, definitely vintage. And then another vintage piece. Smart time. I got a lot of vintage pillowcases that I love. This hand knit scarf. The little red cardinal door hanger. Look at how cute these little ornaments are. Little crocheted Santa. The throw blanket. And then this one is Parkway Knit Sweater. I got grabbed a couple of sweaters. This one, I think, is a shawl. That one didn't have a size, but it's probably one size fits most. I got the two little chicken pot holders. The vintage wicker frame. That one is a 1992 Easter throw. I got a couple of the chickens that cover the little bread baskets. Some vintage towels, including Santa. This is so cute. It's a little planter with the little blue jays and the babies. A few Tupperware pieces. Some of those can actually do well. I got the few coffee pots, the pine cone wreath, poinsettia pillow. This is probably a Fenton from an Epernier, but the Epernier is not there. But I thought for a dollar, still worth it. This little lobster or little crawfish set the little squirrels there's another chicken planters peanut glass 
this one there should be a holder somewhere for this little japan teapot teacup this is blue nun from 1973 bottle these i think are little syrup pitchers and then some vintage pot holders and the vintage blanket and then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and pull out the stuff that was in the free box i have not looked through it yet and we will see what is in there they did tell me that everything in there was stained we will see and if you're interested in anything email me the nurse flipper at yahoo.com and let's go ahead and take a look at the free box all right so the free box has some really cool vintage linens most are ripped or stained if you do crafts and you would like a cutter lot i will sell this to you really cheap if you would like there are some cool pieces some might be able to be restored most are just going to have to be used as cutters for crafts in here but there's some pretty cool look this is like a vintage little hair tie um vintage bandanas there's a lot in here these are probably valuable if you they're vintage sears permapress like girdle shorts but you they need uh some stain removal so if you would like to get this whole box let me know there were a few things that we pulled out uh vintage little like do rags there are a couple of those that i like that one is really pretty the vintage bunny rabbit washcloth this is a bunch of little panels. It's got cows and sheep and to make little pillows. The little grandma fills the world with love. Apron, two doilies, and then this really cool vintage mid-century modern towel. So that's all we pulled out. Again, if you would like that whole box, I will do you a deal on it. Give me an email and on any of the other stuff as well. The nurse flipper at yahoo.com. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.